What's going on everybody? We are on our way out of here. We're actually gonna do something a little different today. Um, I know I said I was gonna install these uh, eight pillar mounts for the light bar, but actually, uh -oh. we're gonna be on our way here to tint my buddy's Audi. I think he's an A7. I think that's what it was. So we're gonna go ahead, hook him up with some window tint. Uh, I install window tint daily. Obviously, we have the Jeep tinted at 5%, pretty much all the way around. Uh, we have 50% on the windshield, 5% windshield, visor, brow, whatever you want to call it. And I'm used to working on all different types of cars, uh, especially high-end here recently. For some reason, we've been getting a lot of like high-end cars. That being said, Ryan's car should be fairly easy to tint. Uh, he's got frameless windows, super easy. And I just wanted to give you guys something a little bit different to watch today as, as opposed to like the Jeep install or anything like that. So, if you guys have seen Ryan's channel, obviously Ryan, uh, Lifted, Lifted Co, whatever. Uh, Ryan, he's my brother-in-law. I actually taught him everything he knows about window tint. Uh, I've seen his window tint. <sighs> hate to hate on the guy, but it could be a lot cleaner. He just needs some more practice on it. So, we're gonna head over there right now, hook him up with some window tint, get rid of that fish bowl that he has for a car right now. Just clear windows everywhere, and we're hooking him up with 25%. Uh, and uh, hopefully that'll take down a lot of the glare for him uh, and make the car look a lot better. I think personally, window tint's one of the easiest things you can do to make a car or truck or anything look a lot better. So let's head on over there and get her done. That's another thing. I think I have to get a new camera because every time I go to back up, now it says the camera system is unavailable. I'm not sure. It just started doing that when I put my rear tire carrier in. And obviously because my rear tire carrier is off right now, uh, it's been giving me more problems than uh, actually working. So yeah, we're gonna have to dive into there and figure that out unless we just have to order a new camera and wiring harness. Yo. Oh shit, getting it already. Fine, it's a little dirty. Uh, I'll be all right. I got, <laughs> I got all cleaning solution and we're good to go. Yeah, yeah this will be perfect. It's much more space than I have in my garage, so. Like I said, I like your windows because they're frameless. The only thing is I have to like shrink it and I was like, damn it, I knew I was gonna forget something. I forgot my heat gun. So, it's the only thing I need. And then the back window I'll, I'll shrink too, but shouldn't be too bad at all because I, I just did one of these this week. Sweet. Well, A5 sport back, but it's, everything's pretty much the same. So right now we have pretty much factory window tint, which is like, I think it come like 90 or 80%. They're like super see-through, you can see. Obviously, it's like there's nothing on these. Uh, basically, we're gonna take this and we're gonna darken it up quite a bit. We're gonna make it 25%. Uh, so the sides are gonna be dark and obviously the rear is gonna darken up as well. What a lot of people don't understand is when you tint cars, uh, especially if you're not tinting the windshield, the front windows will always be lighter because there is so much light coming in from this windshield because this is, what, this is the biggest pane of glass on your car. So this will always look lighter no matter what. Because we could take a meter and we can actually match a uh, factory window tint uh, if it's like 20% or 15. Um, a lot of Range Rovers are like 15%. But when we put 15% on the front, uh, it still meters at 15, but it looks a lot lighter because th these windows are tinted and the back glass is tinted, which means less light is coming through this way, so this always looks darker, and a lot of light is coming through the windshield, so this is always lighter. So keep that in mind. Um, this should turn out really well because 20% or 25% um, is one of the darker tints, and I love using it on cars like this because it just smokes out all this, and just, especially with dark interior, it'll darken it up a lot and look so much better. So we're gonna go ahead, get started cleaning the inside the windows again with the frameless windows these are going to be relatively straightforward you just kind of put it in slide it down and uh, tack it down super easy and uh, should be done here in about an hour hour and a half maybe um, always depends on how well shrinking this back glass goes like I said just been doing quite a few of these recently uh, so it shouldn't be too bad at all basically I'm gonna start by opening all the doors and with these frameless windows because they drop a little bit when you open the door so the glass doesn't break, uh, it's kind of like a little industry secret is you could go and take like a pick tool here and there's a latch. So when you push the latch in, the window actually goes back up to the original spot. We call this tricking the window. Um, make sure you do not forget to pull this door handle or the outside door handle before you shut this door because otherwise um, that glass edge will catch on this metal. So again, this is just a little industry trick. That way you can see more of the window 
when you're ready to just lay the tin in there. Oh. <laughs> oh just you. Yeah, I was looking at it. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, now that it's way brighter in here. <laughs> you're good, dude. Uh, so I get questions about this a lot. Uh, so we laid the film up on the outside and everybody asked this. Actually, Ryan just asked this because he's like, well, why are you laying it on the outside? Uh, basically, everybody asked this. Tint, yes, tint goes on the inside of the glass. It does not go on the outside. The reason we put it on the outside, and I'm gonna make this very clear because I get questions about this in all my other tint videos, is to shrink the window to uh, the, the tint to form to the glass. So you can see the, the tint is uh, like a flat object. You're trying to put it on like a curved object, which is the window. So you're trying to take something that's flat and it's like taking paper and trying to wrap it around a like, like a ball or something like that. You're gonna get a lot of crinkles and stuff like that. So the film is actually, uh, you can almost melt it, but you're basically gonna shrink it to form to the shape of the glass. So what you see here is there's a bunch of these fingers, or what we call fingers. Uh, we're just gonna take a heat gun and heat these out, and then the film will actually be the same shape as the window. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the window tint facing this way, take it up and over, and put it right on the inside. That way it has the same shape as the glass. So I know I get a lot of questions about that for like other tint videos and everybody always gets those comments on tint videos. Yes, tint goes on the inside of the glass, but it gets shrunk on the outside of the glass. So here's what it looks like after we shrink it. There's no more of those fingers on the bottom. There's a couple on the top, but those are okay. Those will go away. Just That's just water wanting to run back down in there. Um, but you can see all these scratches that are kind of like on the film. This is just on the like the liner. Basically, it's like a screen protector for the tint. And then we're just gonna peel that off, flip it inside out, not inside out, but take it, put it on the inside, and call it a day. You'll have a- Woohoo! Looking forward to it. You'll have a dark, you have a dark car. So this should, this should be looking really nice in just a little bit. Uh, also, I didn't get any footage of it, but we did shrink the back window as well. These are, it's the same thing. You're gonna have really big fingers on the back because obviously it's the most curved piece on the, well, besides the windshield. Um, but so it takes a little bit longer to shrink these, but still not too bad. Didn't get much footage of us actually tinting it, but it's now done. Ryan is just about to pull it out and take a final look at it. I'll show you guys a little sneak preview here. Ooh, that's fresh. That's fresh. Finish this with like perfect time. You guys can tell it's a little bit like dusky out right now. Oh yeah. There you go. This is 25% around the whole car. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, once I told you, once you got it outside, this front window will darken up so you can it blends really well. Only like super, super sunny situations will you like notice that the front's a little bit lighter, but that's again because your front windshield's not oh, tinted. beautiful, man. Yeah, dude, that's sick. It's just gonna take you a while to get used to. <laughs> like, I tell everybody, man. It's like wearing sunglasses, you know, like really dark sunglasses at night. <laughs> dude, exactly. And like having a dark interior helps a lot too because if you have like tan, this would almost look like 35%. Yeah. It looks super light yeah. because all the light that's coming in there is like reflecting off all that. But then you look at like, Dude, your car is just like it's like someone <laughs> spray painted your window. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I have the the windshield done at like 50 percent, so you can see how much darker that is. Like you can't even like see. You could just barely see my steering wheel. Oh yeah. So That's crazy. Yeah, you can see like the stuff hanging off my mirror, and then just barely see my steering wheel, which is that's the way I like it, but. It just adds like a little bit of like yeah. smokiness to it. Yes, that was a big upgrade for me too. One of the first things he did was switch out the like original, what was it, it was like uh, it was, lines, it was wasn't silver, it? Silver lines, yeah. yeah the one. So I went to the uh, the RS7 uh, mesh black grill. Yeah. I was gonna go with the black uh, black rings as well, but I thought that having just that touch of, you know, highlight yeah. was nice. Yeah, and then plus you got the silver on the sides too, so it like stands out a little bit more. But that's going away, right? That's gonna be like black yeah. out. I'll probably keep the wheel silver for now, but I'll probably, I'll probably black all that out. Yeah. Um, but keep keep all the uh, all the badges uh, silver for now. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, yeah. You have to stay out of trouble now. 
No more speeding. Never. <laughs> you guys are close up. I don't know. You guys won't be able to really tell from this camera angle because it's like, look how reflective it is. You can see me in the camera, but there's no dirt in any of this like tent. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Like, I mean, there might be like a speck or two somewhere, but I'm pleasantly surprised because last time I've done it in a garage, there was not like a lot, but there's like a couple more specs than what, what's here for sure. So uh, kudos to you for having a clean garage. Thanks. My best. <laughs> and this is why you don't want a tent outside. You tent outside, it looks like like you basically took your hand, touched the tent, and then put it on, and it's just like there's just white speckles everywhere. But yeah, this turned out really good. Oh, there's one spot right there. Oh, I don't yeah, know if you can see. Maybe you can't see on camera. This is what like Ryan, not this Ryan, but my brother-in-law Ryan, Lifted Co. This is like something that he can't accomplish quite as good as me, you know? <laughs> like I'm the best. All right, now it's starting to get dark out. Uh, Ryan's car, ooh baby, look at her sitting over there. Uh, she is all done. Uh, we did 25% on it. Uh, looks really good. Yeah, I like that. Again, tint is one of the easiest things you could do to your car to make it look amazing. Obviously, go ahead and look at Ryan's over there. Looks crispy, looks fresh. Uh, so we are going to, we're actually gonna head out to dinner. Uh, the actually, the coronavirus situation, uh, dinner gets, or any restaurant really gets shut down at nine o'clock tonight and they can't take any any more people for like, I guess indefinitely. So we're gonna run, get dinner before everything kind of shuts down because of this virus. So I'm gonna go grab Hal uh, and then grab some dinner. So thank you guys again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a little bit different than what we normally do. Uh, I mean, it's still kind of in the car realm, but it's just not on the Jeep. If you guys have any questions about window tint or anything like that, leave some comments below. Leave this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And as always guys, we will catch you guys in the next one.